Howdy gamers, today I got invited to get an early look at a game I'd never heard of before. I jumped in a developer's playtest and within 15 minutes was playing one of the most interesting experiences I've had in a while. This is Beautiful Light, a PvPBE tactical first person extraction shooter where six squads of three are tasked with clearing and extracting an artifact in a hostile and horrific environment. Players also can play as the highly lethal anomalies, basically the spooky ass who kept jump scaring me the whole time. <laughs> what? Yes, it's similar to the likes of Escape from Tarkov, or even more so Hunt Showdown, and a little bit of SCP Secret Laboratory in there as well, but with an aesthetic I'd best describe as anything from Ivan Royalty's SCP films. This is, as the developers described, a very early version of the game with a barebone feature set, and the devs told us to give them as much feedback as we wanted, be it good or bad, and after the gameplay section of this, of this video, uh, I do have some feedback. If you'd like to see more on the game, make sure to subscribe, as I'm sure we can get invited back to check out future updates, and I'm trying to hit 2 million. We're almost there. What 1.69? Actually, don't subscribe. I want to stay at this number. 1.69. Nice. I linked the Steam page in the description if you'd like to check it out yourself, but you're here to find out what makes this game so different and special, so let's find out. I changed the I changed the source in the audio, so I'm hoping mm -hmm. maybe that helps. Test, test, one, two. Like test, 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 one, like two. That. Or is this Josh? Is this Josh beside us or is this someone else? Oh, it's it not. Me. Oh, I crashed. Oh, clean Changing just crashed. The... Uh, he crashed? Yeah, he crashed. Oh, wait, did I actually just fat finger? Oh, no. Okay, are you just stuck to spectator now, clean? Yeah, I'm just like looking at the map Shit. right now. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna find out who this guy is that I'm teamed up with. I think it's a dev. But I'll, uh, I'll be right back. You can watch me die. Okay. Tim. I think I'm... Go down. Uh, I'm I'm inside. Are you inside or outside the building? Yeah, I'm inside. I, I'm I'm at the laptop now. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to hack it. If you want to hack it, I can cover you. Uh, yes, I can. Weird vibe. Mag check by holding reload key or tactical reload by holding. Double press. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I like the sound design. Do we have to wait now? Let's see. Players, one more player. I killed one. Killed one player. Okay. Down that hall. I think I killed one. Okay, okay. I'm healing. Yeah, they're still down there. Okay. I'm gonna heal as well. Dang it, I think I'm still hurt. I'm over I here. Them. Did you say you got him? Shit, I don't know who's who. Did you get him? Is he dead? Is he dead? He's not dead. Okay. We, we don't have to push him. We can go back and get that laptop and go, if you want. But I think he's uh, 
uh, alone now. Yeah, he is. It's long to revive, uh, mate. It's long to revive? Wow, this is actually a lot cooler than I thought. Yep, I'm here. No! No, he got me! No! Nice, he got him. Hello. Thank you. I will check you there. Uh, all dead? Yep, yep. Oh, yes, uh, all dead. Okay, nice. cool. Nice, thank you. Boom. We can go to the computer again. Yep, yep. Take this card. Okay. Uh, okay. which button? E or uh, e. F? F? Okay, I think I took it. Okay, let's go. Definitely need to change my sense and my ADS sensitivity. I think I don't know. It feels really high. That's why I was kind of missing a lot during that firefight. My sensitivity is definitely higher than usual. Wow, this is neat, though. I really like the aesthetic, especially of these forests, too. Like, the lighting looks really good. Oh, there's some electric anomalies down there, I think. Near the power lines? Maybe that's just down power lines, not anomalies. Maybe we are the first. Okay. So we see. Other players got it. Yeah, I hear gunshots downhill. Uh, the fighting, uh, okay. Can fighting. Oh, they're fighting down here, I think is what he said. Uh, remember, um, your uh, cam light is uh, light on, so enemy can okay can uh, light off. Can I turn it off? We stab. Oh, there is an anomaly. I hear. It. Okay. Come here. Yeah, we are tracked. Can you? Push the button on the wall. On the wall? Uh, uh yeah. on this door. Or, or, okay, got it. Access granted. <laughs> I think he was saying that I could like. And uh, yes, you can. Um, you can turn off your cam uh, lights. Uh huh. What? What's the button? Uh, click on. Click on tab. Tab. And uh, turn the cam light off. Okay. Got it. Okay. Whoa, this, this, this is pretty weird. It is a very narrow flashlight. So we could hear the other players shooting a bit ago. There's 
definitely some lag here. I think we're loading a lot of things. Yeah, we can hear players shooting. So I'm guessing that they're down here. We were hearing gunshots through the... Oh, wow. Very detailed work. Space here, a lot of warehouse stuff. Oh. Yeah, we are the first here. Wow. This is a really cool location. Oh. Whoa, this is extremely detailed. Interesting. This is a huge facility. Oh my gosh. Imagine fighting in this. Like, this is like labs from Tarkov. Uh, oh. okay, no. yeah. yes, yes, yes. oh, geez, my sensitivity is so high. <laughs> map is awesome. Oh, we got some blocked out stuff here. Do you want to pick it? Uh, sure, yeah. I like the music, the sound. <laughs> the holy cookie. The holy cookie. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I've obtained the holy cookie. Okay. So all the doors are locked now. All the doors are locked. Okay. <laughs> have to find a portal. Got it. I think you hear the, the whistle. Yeah, I think I heard it this direction where I'm looking. Yeah. Access granted. This is cool, man. This is cool. There's a lot of work in this laboratory. A lot of cool uh, yeah. modeling. I have made this map. You you made this map? Oh. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I know all my secrets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is very cool. I'm it's I'm very uh, impressed. I think uh, it's. I, oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, they are in. So I, I jump in first, right? Oh, With we the can cookie. leave before then. I think we can win if we go through the portal. Okay, going through. Uh, now. Uh, uh, oh, no, we are. Oh. <laughs> Did it send us to a random location? Uh, it, we have a bad uh, teleport. <laughs> okay, bad teleport. Yeah, gotcha. But, uh, yeah. We have a very bad teleport. <laughs> because there is no... Um, there is no POE here. So we have to walk uh, all the map. Okay. Dude, I love Ooh, this. Extract. This is amazing. This is so cool. I can imagine, like, character progression things like that as well as I don't think we've really encountered the player anomaly all yet. The, all the team will uh, try to kill us because they can see us. They can see us? Okay. Okay, very careful. He's, he's using up all of his stamina. He's going as fast as he can. I hope the other team's Open distracted. The All the map will come to us. Gotcha. There's a burning church, I think. Kind of a cult aesthetic there with the burning church. This is, <laughs> this is so cool, man. So yeah, right now we're marked on map for everybody. 
should probably turn my red laser off. Behind. Killed one. Killed one. I'm gonna flank right. Flanking right. Do you want to run or do you want to fight these guys? I killed one. Okay, run. That uh, nice shot. Gotcha, I'm covering. Can't see him. Smoke grenade would be nice right now. And lower sensitivity. I'm gonna try running again. Okay, so let's uh, let's run. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Yeah, footsteps were definitely audible from pretty far away there. That was nice. I could hear that player kind of crunching up behind us. I think a little bit more work on foley, like... Footsteps for crunching on leaves and sticks would be a little bit better. Because right now it's more like you hear people's gear moving. Rather, and breathing. rather than actual footsteps and brushing against brush like this. Okay. Helicopter, I think. He said. Dead bodies of those, uh, Figures. How do I call yeah, the, it? The key? No. Uh, oh, oh yeah. yes, yes, yes. Uh, press interaction. Okay, got it. Oh, man. <laughs> so they will come. I think we have one minute. Okay. One minute. Okay, got it. I'll watch this door. Yep. Hmm. I can hear the helicopter in the distance. Oh, they're here. Oh, I nailed one. Oh, wait. Is it just zombies? Or was that a player? I think that was a player. One more. Okay, okay. Coming over to you. <laughs> Woo! That was cool. That was cool. That's a fun game, man. Okay, round two, we've got Clean and the developer now. Last time Clean crashed before he joined. Or he disconnected on accident, I think. I think this is the, the church that's on fire up ahead, so I'm excited to see what this looks like. I've changed my sensitivity settings now as well, so we're... 
running a little bit smoother. And I also learned that this game is running on Unreal Engine 5, which is pretty neat. And that's why the lighting is really, really nice. I wonder what my performance is though. Yeah, around 60. Performance isn't great, but this is very early alpha. You want to try the Zach? Uh, yeah, I'll try it. Let me see. Uh, I think we are alone. Hmm. Huh, I'm uh, I'm not I'm not getting it right. What? I, I don't think I'm getting it. Am I am I doing that correct? You don't find the the pass. Uh, I was doing the password, but I'm look, uh, so I don't I don't know what I was doing wrong. Holy. Close outside. I'm meeting. I could spread out from the building to go flank them, but I don't know if I'll if I'll die or not. Uh, mm. Oh, I can do one. Yes. Crap. One is dead. One's pushing up the left side. I'm running back and I'm gonna flank around the left. I have killed uh, another one, I think. Maybe there is only one left. See anybody? If you see anything out those windows, I see him. I see him. He's running away. How far out is he? Is he the same direction? I will try to kill him. Oh, you're on the hill. I think he's coming to you. I'm here. This is me. He's dead. Yep, this is me. This is me. Oh, nope. That's not you guys. Never mind. Is that you shooting at me? Is that... I don't know who that was. Okay, uh... Oh, it's them! <laughs> That was me. That was me. Where are you? <laughs> that's, that's, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling like we just killed a guy over there and he went down behind defilade. I, I don't know if you guys can hear me in game. Yeah. <laughs> no, I heard. I heard you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Was, was clean talking over radio for you, Drew? I could not hear clean at all. I haven't heard clean. Okay. I think clean was talking in local and you were talking on radio. Yes. Yeah, you'll hear a beep whenever you talk on the radio. I don't uh, hear you properly. Oh, they have little IR strobes? Oh, that's sick! They have little IR strobe, like... Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> on the map, it like... It... What the hell? Yeah, that was spooky. I think the player that we killed, the third one of that group, knew that I was up there because I was talking. So he was looking at me, but then my buddies walked up and uh, he heard them instead, which kind of saved my ass. And then my friendlies killed me. <laughs> so I don't know if any other teams are here yet.
hear some different noises than I heard last time. Access denied. Access granted. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What the heck? That's how that door closes? What the heck? already in here. So dark. <laughs> Coming, coming. Uh, death here. Don't show, don't show, don't show. They will come. They will come. From gotcha, the gotcha. From, from this way here. They just saw us. <laughs> I got one. Oh, shoot. There's an anomaly here. The big monster's here! The big monster's here, clean! I got your back, I got your back. Are you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barely. We gotta get out of here. I think we can do this. There's one of them left down there if they're not healing yet. Where are you? I went back... Uh, shit. I don't know. I'm reviving him. Does your shot? Right, gotcha. The monster's on them. Oh, Dude. God. This way? You, 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 you leave. We don't know where that is. 
I, I think I hear it. Coming, coming. I can't believe. I think that, uh. Okay, it's here. It's in this room. Uh. Protect, uh, protect this, uh, this room. They will come here. Okay. So they haven't gone through it yet? I, I think. I don't know. But I think the monster was on them. The big anomaly. I have to go here. I still need to lower my aiming sensitivity. That's much better. Okay. Definitely heard them on the other side of that wall. Cleans down there at the other door. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell was that? No. <laughs> nope. It's going after them. I'm going to get our buddy. I think he's back here. If you want to jump into the portal and start chasing them. I don't know where our buddy is. I got a, I got a buddy, man. He went around the hallway. He flanked and we got one. Okay. One escaped through the portal. I don't, I don't know where our buddy is. I'm gonna go through the portal. I, I don't know where he went. I'm going with. Oh shit! He's right here. Yeah. That's like a Windigo uh, thing. He can be in the. He can be in the trees. Watch Rescue. out. What's Rescue, up? Rescue. What's up? You have. Uh, you have the uh, look back. Stop. 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 Yeah. You the have the artifact to the right. Yeah. Okay. This is the goal of the game. Yeah, yeah. Where can we... Oh, we have to go to the, one of the buildings again? Yep, to escape with a helicopter. Gotcha. Okay, let's go... Uh, I guess let's follow where he went. I'm just gonna walk. I think most other teams might be dead. Yeah, so they... That monster killed those guys right as they exited the portal there. The guy with the cookie who jumped in the portal, we saw the monster go right behind him into the portal. And uh, that was actually a really cool scene because I saw the monster in the dark. I don't know if the video is going to catch it, but I saw him in the dark right then. And, uh, turned my flashlight on and then he was gone. He had already jumped in the portal, too. Okay, yep, I'm gonna call it. I don't 
don't know if the monster has any sounds. I hear a laptop below me. Oh, it stinks, so I'm not going to be able to hear anything. Other roof, other roof. Corner, right there. Get in the heli, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, they got shredded. He's got the cookie. The cookie sound. <laughs> the cookie. The magic cookie. Dude, look how HD that cookie is. Dude, it's, 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 cr dude. That is a 3D scanned oh cookie. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most 3D scanned cookie I've ever seen. Holy this is the 3D polygons. scanned cookie of all time. What's that uh, new UE5 technology that's like... Nanite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely using Nanite on that. Like, just insane amount of polygons for a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so cool. All right, so the feedback section I have. Now, I, I haven't even written down bullet points or anything. This is kind of just what's on the top of my head after playing. Definitely a very bare bones sort of uh, loot extraction shooter experience right now. It's not really going to compete with Hunt Showdown or Escape from Tarkov in terms of the progression systems. But if you go to the Steam page, there are examples of what they have for player progression, how they describe traders and progression for your character. It looks like there's trees of maybe skills or maybe abilities that you can get. I'm not really exactly sure. Um, but the map itself, the gameplay, is really cool and promising. There's obviously kind of certain tones and certain, I would say, landmark ideas that they have here, like the burning church kind of uh, hints towards maybe a cultist sort of vibe in the game, but also having the church very close to a facility that is high tech and very uh, secretive with a little tiny bunker out in the middle of the forest that leads you down into this very detailed facility. I think the guy that we were playing with in this episode was the guy who developed all of the map. So when I was complimenting the map, he was like, yeah, that, I made this. So that's cool if you say thing, saying that. But uh, I think it was very detailed for how basic the game could currently is right now, like the map design was really cool. The buildings above ground seem uh, seemed a little bit more simplistic. I think maybe below ground, maybe they had more performance ability to, uh, you know, add more detail and more resolution down there because the laboratory downstairs was amazing. The building of the observatory was kind of simplistic and almost blocky. There were some areas that were also blocked out, but that's just obviously stuff that's in development. It's obvious that there's a level of detail that that map designer eventually reaches within that laboratory that makes it look pretty good. But overall, I think the map itself is uh, a cool design map. It's a little bit simplistic right now. There's not really much detail. I think the best game to look at when looking at a game like this is Hunt Showdown. Uh, Hunt Showdown is in its formula the most similar to this game where players have to extract with an artifact or like a thing. Um, in Escape from Tarkov you just extract with random stuff and that is the loot that is the money you make in the raid whether it be from ai scavs that you kill whether it be from the bosses that you kill it doesn't really matter you can do a lot of different things in tarkov and get out with uh, the same amount of money um in Hunt Showdown, you can't. You have to get out with the boss's bounty that you kill in the middle of the map, and that's kind of similar to this game, where you have to extract with the cookie to technically win. Now, this is, <laughs> I think, it's fair to say that the glowing cookie with the ha ah! is very early concept uh, and a placeholder for what the artifact may be in the future, I'm not exactly sure, but it seems interesting the the metas that are uh, going around the cookie because the cookie can be dropped the cookie marks you on the map similar to hunt showdown um but it's hard to say what that really means it's hard to really 
give any feedback around this because I don't know how much is the cookie worth, how much are other loot pieces in the map going to be worth, is it really 100% required to get the cookie, or is the cookie just like icing on top to a good raid that you could have. In terms of the graphics, Unreal Engine 5 is really cool. The performance was definitely not great. I have a 4090, I think I was running around maybe 70, 80 FPS the whole time, so with an RTX 4090, that's not great, but also this is a very early on game on Unreal Engine 5. I have no idea what performance or optimization is on UE5, so I can't really give any feedback there other than I think it was laggy for everyone a little bit, but that's usual with these games. Usually performance passes happen later on in development more. Um, but yeah, that's my basic ideas around the game. I, I really like the idea of a real uh, physical HUD. It's apparently you're going to have all that map stuff, I think, going to be in your actual wristband HUD, which I think that'll be cool if we can implement more games like that where there's physical devices. I really like the idea of the Stalker PDA being a physical thing in the game that you bring up to look through. Um, so the idea of the of the map and all that stuff being brought into a physical wristband thing so you can just check it while also maintaining security is going to be really cool. Um, the game feels a lot like SCP Secret Laboratory in a way. I don't know if you've ever played that. It's, it's lesser known, it's at least for you guys watching my channel. Secret Lab is a game where you have monsters that run after players and everybody can either play as the players or the humans or they can play as the monsters. Um, this game kind of feels like that because there can be a player as the monster. Uh, the developers constantly described that as kind of a scav role similar to Escape from Tarkov, and I don't know exactly what that means. Does that mean that the monster is a kind of lower tier threat, that it's easy to kill, or that the monster is scary? I, I don't know. Um, kind of like a Dead by Daylight sort of thing, but I don't know how many monsters are going to be in the raid, how powerful they are, if they're going to have different abilities, I'm guessing so, because I feel like one monster is a little dry. Um, the mystery of what the monster is adds a lot of depth to SCP Secret Laboratory when you're running around the hallways and you don't know what monster you're going to be fighting because sometimes you can be fighting a monster that can see you if you run loudly or can't see you if you are perfectly still or you might see a monster that you have to stare at or a monster that you can't look at at all because if you see its face it goes into rage mode and can kill you. So there's a lot of different uh, ways that you fight monsters in SCP or at least flee from monsters in SCP Secret Laboratory and I feel like that formula could easily be brought into this, where I'm going into a raid, there's other players I need to worry about, but also there's other monsters I need to worry about. And I think that this game having that spooky vibe, especially the nighttime, I think the nighttime worked really well. I think the daytime was um, it just a bit off, in my opinion, tonally. I just think the nighttime tonally worked a little bit better than daytime and the kind of foggy weather that we had. Um, maybe the lighting was just a little bit off, I'm not exactly sure, but it just looked cooler, in my opinion, to be playing this at night, especially with the Kim lights glowing on everybody. It just has a cool aesthetic. Um, there's gonna be a huge focus on immersion with oppressive atmosphere, is what the Steam page says. Breathing, realistic footsteps, heartbeats, realistic gas masks. So we're going to get away from what I, I think I described this in the gameplay at some point, maybe I'd cut it, I'm not sure, but I described how the footsteps of other players were mostly just kind of like gear jingling noise. I'm guessing that's going to be changed, but I would like this to be very close to Hunt Showdown in terms of the uh, trip wires in the map for players. Basically, Hunt Showdown has crows that sit around, they have ducks, they have, um, I'm trying to think of any other, like, they have dogs trapped in cages. If you run past these things, and they are plentiful in the map, they are every 30 seconds you encounter one of these tripwires. If you're sprinting carelessly through the map, you will trigger constantly uh, these little tripwires. And other players that are aware and playing more stealthily will be able to hear those trip parts. They'll be able to see crows start flying out of the trees or dogs start barking in the distance or a dead horse on the ground get triggered and start screaming basically as you run by. There's a lot of these little trip wires in the game, and I think that stealth could become a really interesting concept in this game, especially with modern weaponry being able to reach out a little bit farther than Hunt Showdown's cowboy repeaters and things like that. It also says that it's going to bring in tactical stuff, so lasers, tactical lights, night vision, things like that. So I really hope that if, uh, if they're making night vision goggles, please go look at my last night vision video on my channel, because that is a very good video, I hope, in helping a developer find out what a night vision goggle needs to be and what it doesn't need to be, uh, but I, I think this is a cool game. 
I think the idea of the game is is definitely there. There are some, as I said before, some landmark ideas that I think are really cool. The kind of cultist tones in the map, um, the high-tech laboratory. I think the map could even be larger and a little bit more diverse, a little bit more dynamic, and I think that would be cool because a lot of the map currently is just forest, and there's some kind of Easter eggs, like we found a folded chair with, I think, uh, headphones and a radio beside it, just in the middle of the forest. It had nothing to do with the game. But there was some smaller things like that that were really cool. I'd like the game to be a bit larger in its map design, but also I'd like to be able to hear gunshots more in the distance. I think that that DayZ vibe of playing in the middle of the night where you hear a gunshot like half a mile away is the coolest thing ever. I think being able to hear distant fights across the map is is very good for players that are um, extremely aware. I think that that's the my, one of my favorite ways to play Escape from Tarkov, for example, is playing extremely slowly, extremely tactically. Sometimes I don't even play for the bounty in like Hunt Showdown or Escape from Tarkov, where I'm I'm not really playing for loot. I play to hunt other players. I like hunting in real life. I like hunting in these games. So being able to be still, be slow, and observe, and be patient, um, and have uh, rewards for that, like having other players hit trip wires, like in Hunt Showdown, or other players get into fights with scavs or something and start firing their guns out in the middle of the night. I think that that's a really cool vibe, and I, I absolutely love it. I hope that this game can kind of incorporate that with, I would like to have a sort of feeling where I'm on this location and I don't know where other players are, and it's not small enough that I know that I'll run into players, I have to go out and specifically find them. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to not be like too specific on things because I know this is very early on. What's cool though is that this game is going to have self-hosting or dedicated servers so you can kind of choose, I guess, maybe a sort of shard of gameplay if you want to just play with your buddies or your community maybe. There's going to be possibly shards so that's kind of neat because I've always thought that Tarkov was a cool game if I could get a hundred players that could jump into servers that would be rolling new raids out every 10 minutes or so um, in certain locations so that you're forced to play certain maps because otherwise it'd be way too many maps and possibilities for just a hundred players to populate but I always thought it'd be cool to have a sort of new wipe for my Tarkov community, kind of similar to a Daisy server or a Rust server, so I wouldn't have to play with the possibility of hackers or or exploit people, things like that. Um, and possibly new players could also have kind of newer friendly, uh, newer player friendly shards with maybe more loot or less scavs or easier scavs or something like that. But yeah, definitely an interesting game. I never really give feedback that often as detailed as this in videos, but I think that this game is cool. I think that um, hopefully that maybe helps the developers to see what my perspective is on it. Definitely just excited for more. It's a cool game. Beautiful light. Check it out on Steam. Uh, Wishlist it to help out the devs if you, if you like the idea, and I will uh, see you in the next one. Bye.